Hi friends, welcome. So today we'll be watching an official trailer and the name of the movie is Bagi 3. So it stars Tiger Shroff and I always call him, what What do I call? I, every time I call him something else, instead of Shroff, I think I call him Shorf. And then he keeps telling me it's not this. But for some reason, even uh, his father's name, I used to pronounce it wrong. So guys, if you hear me calling him incorrectly, his last name, don't uh, just get used to it. And then it stars uh, Shraddha and Ritesh and Sajid and Ahmed Khan. And this movie is releasing on 6th of March. So pretty close. And before we go ahead and watch this video, yes, friends, if you're watching us for the first time and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because the bell icon will send you notification of all our videos as soon as we upload them. And after watching today's video, if you like it, then click the like button and share the video with your friends and family. So, okay, let's get started. लोग रिश्तों में हदे पार करते हैं मेरा एक ऐसा रिश्ता था जिसके लिए मैंने सरहदे पार कर दी बाबा हमेशा खिलाते थे ना So who do you think can do this to your brother? Abu Jalal Kaza. Abu Jalal is not a man, he is a man. If Abu Jalal is not a man, then he will beat his mother. Jason Askar! No one. Can't stop me. जब भी हम मुश्किल में होते थे, हम चिंता क्यों से बुलाते थे? Ronnie! अगर मेरे भाई को कुछ हुआ ना, तो उनका समा हमारी बात है। तुम्हारे देश को इस दुनिया के नक्शे से मिटा दूँगा। देश को? Okay, friends, so full of action, action-packed movie, I would say, 
and for some reason every time i was watching it i was remembering war one with hrithik roshan and him because that was also action packed but i love the way he's fighting the way he you know kicks and all those stunts that he does those are fantastic those some scenes seemed a little bit artificial to me especially where you know the this uh, bad guy has shraddha and pulling those hair pulling her hair and all those things that is just typical hindi movies i would say bollywood movie but i'm sure all the guys who love action they would enjoy this movie to the fullest because there was not a single moment when there was no fighting and at one point it reminded me even of salman khan because when he took off his shirt i mean he stretched his body and the shirt it just ripped off that was exactly what salman khan has been doing in some of his movies or i should say most of his movies and it looks like the today's norm has become dialogues just like salman khan does like he said something about you know jab mere bhai par aati hai to something 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 and main pure desh ko hi khatam kar dunga so those kind of dialogues were similar to salman khan movie but oh my god his body amazing especially his what do you call them biceps <laughs> so amazing and in that scene where shraddha is standing and showing as if it's her biceps i was like how was that possible and then he comes from behind i was like oh wow now i know so yes friends looks like to be an interesting movie not something that you know you would say oh this is boring i don't want to watch it so for youngsters definitely a watch or i should say for people who love action so definitely something to look forward to in theaters all right so nice uh, i mean uh, trailer and obviously there's a lot of uh, action back to back back to back and i think uh, this movie probably people should see in a light hearted way mm. and i mean those of you who have done some martial arts we realize that this is not possible in real life right i mean he is hitting them multiple places and just sitting over there waiting for him to finish his routine and then move on so that of course you can look at his skill he is obviously very skilled yes, but in yeah. real life it is difficult to do that because other person will also strike you immediately so therefore i think there was in a light hearted way yes it is very nice to see him beat a bunch of people and i liked the fact that they are going to syria so syria as people already know a civil war is going on for a very long time and um, uh, and uh, many of the terrorist organizations as you would know also started in syria they took control of syria and they took control of iraq and all these things happened so syria is a very very dangerous place and us obviously has many restrictions and i don't even think if uh, us citizens can ever go to syria and this oh. has been for some time now just because of all this and i think now turkish forces are taking control of syria so many things are going on in syria so it is a pretty uh, i would say um, a place where there's a lot of violence and and for this story probably that's what they're trying to show that people came from syria and they have gone back to syria and now all these things are happening no, so that i think sense. what i think in the story was that his brother he was a policeman yeah. in india and he had to go to syria for oh. something and when he went there these uh, terrorist groups they probably kidnapped him and beat him really bad and while this was happening the hero which is tiger he was what chatting with him on phone and he could see that and once he got to know this he traveled from india yeah. to syria okay. to save his brother and take yeah. revenge but that is also very ironical that you have a brother who's in police and yet he is looking for some protection from his brother i don't maybe I mean, they're showing that he's more stronger and he's younger brother because they have to make him as a hero right yeah no, no, that, that's what i'm saying i mean so are you saying that people who are in police are not physically strong i think it is not true uh, a policeman will be physically strong as part of the training 
Yeah. To begin with, if you have to be a policeman, you will have to do minimum training on a daily basis. But unfortunately, he got. I mean, he got yeah, because so, there was terrorist group and yeah, you know, being a single so, person, right? So I'm not think, ready for that. About probably wasn't ready about the fact that somebody is going to come yeah, in, you know, attack yeah, him but, or something. But again, I mean, uh, for a policeman to call out. Uh, somebody else to show that the other guy is much stronger so that is anomaly maybe they could have made him some other doctor okay maybe he's a doctor <laughs> so you know he just looks at patients he's not a physically strong guy i mean that can still be understandable fine i am doctor. think i am thinking it was a police officer because they showed him yeah, in, yeah, in, in, a uniform, yeah, in right? uniform because so if he's a police officer then it doesn't make sense to me because police officers uh, the their, their job is pretty intense and if they're doing the job, they will become very hardened just because of the job. If you are doing certain job and you're using your brain, your brain is becoming pretty effective. Similarly, mm. if a policeman, their physical body will become pretty strong. Because so he's found a you you found he's found a little flaw in the movie. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying yes. that we we. But are it not does seen. make sense yeah. because then in one of the scenes, remember we uh, they they were showing that he was yeah. this rare. Uh, Ritik, what's his name? Ritik, Ritesh, sorry. Ritesh was shouting and yeah. saying, when I call my brother or something, <laughs> he'll come and help yeah. me or something. Yeah. So if a police officer probably would not, but yeah. a younger brother who's innocent or not that, yeah. uh, you know, not, physically yeah. strong. A younger would, brother who's probably a doctor yeah. or somebody in the academic field and he's not interested in exercising. Yeah, that, that could, person. Yeah. But a police officer doesn't make sense. So that was a me. little, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, the other thing was that I mean the good thing I mean Syria is a good place they are showing Syria so that's a good thing uh, to see but uh, they when any acting happens where you show that the person is super I mean exceptionally strong then that also becomes kind of illogical so therefore in a light hearted way people yeah. say yeah man fantastic hit him and he's going to fly and fall over there beautiful great we do want people like that who can <laughs> fight so strong who can do great things so light hearted way yes I, I would love, love to see that the only thing is that uh, uh, the fighting sequence uh, takes a lot of hard work so there's a lot of hard work that he must have to do to create those fighting sequences a lot of training yeah and there was a lot of money being spent mm. you know, helicopters were fighting of course they are so in real life if helicopter fires and a person is nearby he'll go deaf and he'll, he'll die and he'll be, he'll be out Right. But here you can see a hero who's running and the uh, <laughs> helicopters are firing, but he's okay. Let the fire come. I'm going to run and escape. But so, the scenes were beautiful. It was, yeah. I mean, when you're looking at so, it, you were like, wow, this yeah. is nice. So that is how we want human beings to be. That even if people are firing at you, you just run, man. And you are fine. And you are strong. And not, nothing happens to you from sharp nails and all the stuff that's happening, the loud noise and the <laughs> blast, nothing doesn't affect you. You are just running super great. We want human beings to be like that. If I want, yeah, I would like to be that fantastic, man. Be so strong. But uh, I mean, in the sense of not just muscles, this was something beyond that. Really super strong. And, but in a lighthearted way, interesting movie because you are looking at all modern the photography is modern. The scenes are modern. Hollywood style. Ha, Hollywood style. No, I mean, Hollywood uh, nowadays is logical. No, some of the movies like Fast and Furious. They were logical. They, they, which one was the one that yeah. we watched recently? Yeah, whichever movie you see Hollywood. Hollywood is used to be illogical at some point, but now... They want to be as close as reality as possible. They will show either they will show a very strong guy, but there's a, a chip and it's some, uh, you know, they have done something to him so he can. So they so, put logic yeah. in everything that they show mm. to some degree mm. and it is doable to some extent. It's not like, yeah, at least I have not seen any uh, latest Hollywood movie where somebody punches another guy is falling over there unless they say that somebody has done something to his body and his armor mm. or something like that. Yeah. So they try to be logical. So here, but... This movie was modern and the photography was modern. Yes. Equipment was modern. The, yes. The studio was modern. Everything that we're doing is looking it was really beautiful. good. Yeah. yeah. There is no doubt about that. So friends, uh, um, I think I'll, we'll probably watch this with Rishi. But I'll have my fingers crossed, hoping he's not going to ask too many questions as to how did his shirt rip off just because he stretched his chest. I, If I do it, this is not going to happen. 
or how did he you know cake and there were like three guys who just went flying yeah. i can't do it i need to try it because he has tried some martial arts and so what my suggestion is yes it's a it's a nice movie and something that you can watch with family which is a great thing but be aware if you have kids they are going to ask you a lots and lots of questions during the movie and after movie so be prepared <laughs> so okay guys we hope you enjoyed this trailer with us we'll come back again in another video very soon till then take care and bye bye oh and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when i put in my new video for you to enjoy bye